Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Hey, family. What's up, my cousins? How are y'all doing today? Today has been a hectic, hectic day. So I ended up having to make a trip that I wasn't intending to make today. So while I'm dropping that person off to do what they need to do, I'm having to run now and do what I need to do in order to get my rabbits and chickens as winterized as I possibly can. I think I came up with an idea for that, but we'll talk about that in another video. Today, we are going into the Piggly Wiggly um, in Columbia, South Carolina. And before we go in there, I wanted to give you an update on the list of stores that I said would be closing for Thanksgiving. Um, they've added some stores to that. So here is that list because I don't want this to be a long video. But, but before we get into this video, the list and going into the store, I would love for you guys to watch the video all the way through as much as you can with all of my videos because that helps let YouTube know that you're interested in the video and they will push it out to more people so those people can know what is happening and also hitting the like button helps with that as well and anytime you can share a video please share it with family and friends on your Facebook your Twitter or TikTok or whatever it is you use so here is the thing stores will be closing um, on Thanksgiving Day, which is the 25th, no, the 24th of November is Thanksgiving. They will be closing on that Thursday, but most of them are offering online deals so you can shop from your home if you're able to do so, if you have the funds to do it. I encourage you not to spend money that you know you will need down the road. Make sure you keep a buffer um, of money. That way, if something comes up like an emergency, whether it's sickness, job loss, layoff, you will have funds that you can fall back on. Um, don't get swept up into the whole, I need to get this and get that. Um, so, on the 24th, they will be closed. But on the 25th, they will be open right back up. And some of them will even have extended hours for shopping in the store. Banana, Banana Republic, Bed Bath Beyond, Best Buy, BJ's, Costco's, Dick's Sporting Goods, Gap, Home Depot, Home Goods, uh, Hy-Vee, JCPenney's, Kohl's, Lowe's Home Improvement, Macy's, Marshall's, Office Depot, Office Max, Old Navy, Petco, and PetSmart. Also closing on Thanksgiving Day is TJ Maxx, Target, which is known as Target, uh, Trader Joe's, Ulta, and Walmart. More stores will be added, but I won't be doing an updated on any more stores that are added to this list, but I did want to bring you that. So let's head into the store, you guys. Y'all stay safe, keep prepping, keep stocking up. Some of the things that are best to get now that you might be able to catch a deal on and they might have excess of them is your baking goods. If you have not gotten your baking goods, your baking items yet, you know, your spices, your sugar, your flour, your yeast, things like that. Now might be the time to do it. Some things that have absolutely gone up is your heavy whipping creams that you also use for baking. Um, make sure you stock up on cheese. Cheese freezes perfectly defrost perfectly bread does the same thing there's no mushiness to it when you um defrost it or anything like that so if you're just starting to prep make sure you're adding beans any kind of dry beans or canned beans if you don't know how to do the dry beans you can do canned beans you can still find some for under a dollar sometimes you can find them for under 75 cent depending on where you go make sure you're checking your labels in the stores I showed you if you haven't seen that video go check it out they can and they will scam you whenever they possibly can there are some stores Target was doing a great job I didn't see any scams within that store I don't know I could have missed any something but I think that they were doing a great job they didn't have one thing marked as something and then it rings up something else or they're covering up the real price and acting like the price is higher than it was but it was actually the sales price was actually the real price 
on the item before they even labeled it so be careful with that check your receipts as well you're getting charged for lots of things now a lot of people have been charging for bags for a long time but more and more people are jumping on board with that um i think that covers all i'm going to cover for today so let's go into the store you guys this is the only piggly wiggly for miles around they had pretty decent prices Throughout the store, I did notice a lot of empty shelves, um, and that could be people stocking up for the holidays, who knows, but a lot of empty areas in the pasta, as well as the canned good, and with the pasta noodles as well. The prices of meat were not as reasonable. Um, I managed to find me some collard greens that looked pretty good. But you guys, keep stocking up, keep paying attention to your receipts and things like that. I didn't notice any kind of scamming in this store when it came to pricing. So, I will see you at the end of the video. So the beans were running a little short so was the rice and the sugar they only had limited amounts there um the price of the beans for the package wise was a little costly for a small pack it was like almost two dollars um, but there are things in here that you can get if you have not started stocking up yet So you can see that they had um, a lot of gaps and empty spaces in there. They did have some things on sale, but they also had a lot of high price items as well. So this is what I so got. So I've been looking around many places when I go into stores doing videos and I haven't seen any nice looking collard greens anywhere. Their collard greens actually looks really good. I got what looks like a bouquet of collards here. They had them uh, two for six dollars. They didn't have a price out there, so I didn't know that. Had I known that, I would have gotten two and just froze the other ones. Really? Why do people put those big mufflers on their cars? But I, I just got this one, and so I'm making a small meal for Thanksgiving because we we're supposed to be going to his brother-in-law's house. But I still like to cook, you guys, so when I come home, my family can still eat and we don't have to worry about trying to get extras from people's houses so let me go because it's too much noise for me y'all um i will see you in the next video i hope this video was helpful for you i hope that you do decide to share it out watch it all the way through and i love you but god loves you more he created only one you so be the best you that you can be and when you are go out and spread god's love first i need you to love yourself Otherwise, how will you know how to give love and receive love? You guys stay safe out there. It's a lot of craziness happening right now. Keep your head on a swivel and protect yourself the best that you possibly can and your family. Continue to stockpile your food as much as you can to the rafters. Um, at least try to get a 30-day supply if you don't have space to do a whole lot of storage. But having that 30-day supply will give you 30 days of time if something came up some kind of emergency where it's stressing you out to the point where you know you have to pay all these other things the one thing that you shouldn't have to worry about is how you're going to feed your family